Hello, everybody, and all you survivors as well. It's fantastic, Mr. Ghost. Day 32. I don't really take the days. and I know some YouTubers like Cap and Glock9, they're really on the days. I just go by what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I, uh, I don't know. Hopefully that type of style is okay. I don't know. So anyway, I uh, went out and did some things, and oh, I went, I got a treasure map, and I read it, and I went to go get the treasure, so, you know, I did that off screen, and then I found another one, <laughs> and oh, I have this here, uh, right here, I found a Jennifer treasure map, map, and here it is. Oh, and the <laughs> the one I the one I found last episode, I just went and did it. I don't even remember. Well, I I think I have some crap in the case here. Well, I got a ton of books, okay. And then I found a drop. A drop popped up you know, every three days. I think I have them. I have default settings on that, and uh, I think I got some bundles from that. Yeah. So here is this treasure map, map, and what? Oh. I should. I, I'd like to get that now. Now, oh, this is something I just realized. It bopped me in the head. Let me direct your attention to here. Seventy-two slash one hundred. I. You know what? I didn't even think to look up there. That's how many points we have. I guess till we hit tier five. I, I've. I never knew that was there. See, I'm kind of new to the. These que um, global quest tier things that you're doing now. Now, a couple things here. First off, let's set this to our active. Oh, and then also they tell you the tier right here. Uh, I was looking over here and all this, and I'm like, oh, it's here. Reading. It's difficult. So tier 4, tier 4, tier 3. And this one here is Bob. So I want to do that to get everything on tier four for all the traders. But I wanted to work on getting this treasure first. So I'll knock that out. And I don't like to let, I let, I, sometimes I let them sit, but I want to clear them out. I was out, like I said, clearing some zombies out of some POIs, trying to find these damn books. And I got the cop one here. <laughs> 50 cops. I thought I would have had more by now, but we'll redeem it. There we go. And that is all I have. As far as skills go, skill or uh, points, I only have one. And what I'm trying to work towards right now is advanced engineering. As I said in the last episode, we need intelligence six. And now we need two points to up that. So the second point I get today, hopefully we'll get it today, we'll go into smart and then, uh, so hopefully I can level up two times. I'm almost getting close. It's getting tougher. If you go to the character here, uh, you'll see XP to next level, 39,600. So that gives you an idea of, you know, kind of what you're looking at. So divide that by, uh, <laughs> You know, 400 for zombies. Well, 463 if you're doing the XP gain gear. Uh, then, yeah, that's how many zombies you have to kill. Normal zombies. Pretty crazy. But the quests and all this other stuff, you know, add up. Mining, all that add up. All right. So there we go. Uh, this is off for now. I've got plenty of resources in here. I went and got more lead and cooked it up. And trying to keep the bullet tips going here. At this point, because I got plenty of casings. So if you look at um, its AP ammo, this is armor piercing. Here's the 762. And it can penetrate one enemy or one block up to 250 hit points to also damage the enemy standing behind it. I like these for nasty horde knights. This is what you want. Now here's the high power 762 ammo. Can't be uh, high-powered ammunition does more damage but costs more resources. 
And so if we look at that, it's two bullet tips, three gunpowder, and one bullet casing. So let's take a look at the AP again. And look at this, five gunpowder and two bullet tips. Here is the regular 7.62. It's one bullet tip, three gunpowder, and one bullet casing. Oh, and I've got some lock picks. There we go. I've got a bunch of dukes on me because I want to go to Bob. And I want to see if he has a crucible today. You know, we don't know. You just have to keep checking. It sucks, but that's what you have to do. I did go to Jen and Wrecked. Rex, he's more of a farmer type. You know, he has general stuff, but he's more farming, right? And then Jen is medical. She's over there somewhere. So you're not really going to potentially find a crucible from Jen. Bob is kind of a, he might have it, but... I think we have to progress further in the game before it starts popping up in loot. It has a very high loot table um, thing to it, you know, whatever it's called. Yes, I've been busy. Check this out. I found Taza's Stone Axe. It has a block damage of 31.8. So if we look at our uh, axe here, 30, let's see, 71. So for a little stone axe, that's pretty good. For early game, if you find this, that's not bad. All right, let's read these books. I got a knife guy there, a tool digest. Oh, knife, hunting knife quality two, which I already have. Then I got wiring here. Battery, uh, tier three batteries quality four. Yeah, it, there's a lot of numbers there, so you have to read it. <laughs> Forged ahead, four of them. I am, I think, one away. I'll have to check. Shotgun Messiah. I found two of these things. Shotguns do 10% more damage. Heck yeah. Now, I could sell this for 100 dukes, but guess what? I want 54 experience. Super Corn Seed. Uh, I, I, I guess this is a crafting recipe here. So I'll have to see what's involved in this. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out right now. Wow, that was cool. Oh, I got another Shotgun Messiah Volume 1. We'll read it. I want the experience. Oh, so we have to find the Super Corn first. Now, this is a recipe for... Uh, well, Super Corn is a part of the recipe for the Learning Elixir, I think it is. We have to find this stuff in the world. And there's uh, like one or two POIs that you can find it in. Uh, maybe one. I don't even know. So, yeah, we'll have to... That's not going to help us at all right now. All right, we got to get hammered for uh, sledgehammers and then electrical traps. And there we go. Now, I unlocked something. I, I accidentally hit read on a book. I unlocked the shotgun auto turret. I was like, damn it. I wanted to capture that on screen. But like I said, I was out looting and trying to get all this crap in my bike. I try to hurry because, you know, you're limited on time. So we need 62 forged freaking steel. Everything else is doable. Here's the motion sensor. Forged iron electrical parts and mechanical parts. Pretty simple to make. So let's open these up. Ammo crafting bundle. Look at this. 100, 100, 100, 100. And oh, they give you paper too. That's kind of cool. All right, we got tool crafting here. Tactical Warfare. Oh, Tactical Assault Rifle Quality 4. Good. And Electrical Traps. Okay, nothing new there. Oh, dear. One book away from a chemistry station, folks. That's why I've, I've kind of tried to speed this up a little bit by going nuts because, uh, you know, trying to craft. Oh, I'm making these steak potatoes. Uh, I was running a little low, and I figured I'd make that. Okay. So that's all I got to report on for now. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> this bike is nuts. Uh, let's head to our treasure and dig it up. And there it is. Stop. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get busy living or get busy digging. Oh, by the way, I finally found a Grave Digger mod. And it's still requiring two hits, but it's a lot less than. And I suppose if I got the Tool Nipper, it would 
definitely this would definitely be well a steel shovel with uh with the do with the gravedigger mod holy cow that would be awesome so let me show you that so i got this degradation one here and here's the gravedigger 25 percent more damage against dirt and let's go ahead and we'll do a block there wait that was wrong so it's from 250 to 63 it was half pretty much so it's a lot better though oh i found it oh my god i literally can't i was looking where the circle was i got out it was two two ding-a-dings <laughs> there it is boom three freaking lock picks oh 17 000. holy crap Eh, this isn't much, but eh, I guess I'll take it. A lot of ammo and uh, ammo crafting. Oh my gosh, that was a good freaking uh, treasure. Tr treasure, because of the 17 grand, man. All right, I'm gonna unload and then we'll head to Bobby. And well, we're gonna do his tier thing, tier three. And let's get that set up now. What the heck is this? Oh, oh, I gotta go. Um. Redeem this with uh, wrecked too. All right, here's Bobby. So we'll do ahead. Go ahead and do that. This is a uh, red church residence. Okay. All right, wrecked. You smelly fool. I'm here for my reward. Holy moly! Ah! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> a crucible! Are you kidding me? That's more important than legendary parts, in my opinion. Holy mother of God! You know the drip. Oh, thank you, Wrecked. I'd kiss you if you weren't so smelly. Let's go cook some steel, folks. <laughs> Hoo ya! I'm home. Now, we pop that baby in. Oh, it has a nice little sound to it. And now we can make steel. How much can we make? Uh, look at this. Wow. 855. Now, this right here, 4X. Now, we need, uh, okay, 4x4 four four truck chassis. 375 steel. And then we have all the other crap that we're gonna need. So you can see why iron becomes a real big thing. Yeah, crafted, 99 minutes. There we go. Uh, let me get this crap sorted out and we'll head out. All right, we're heading out. I'm hoping that this won't be a very tough one because by the time I get there, it'll be, you know, definitely nighttime. So, wish me uh, luck on this one. Alrighty, folks. <laughs> Just turned nighttime. Uh, oh, I, I robbed a uh, cop car on my way. Oh, let me move this here. I got my tools because you never know when you're going to need them, you know? I just found a four level four shovel in the cop car. So, I'm going to degrade this one and swap it out. So, that saves me resources. Unless I make a level... Five. I can't foresee making level six tools because you just repair them. You know, they degrade your repair. There's no benefit. And the weapons are the same thing, too. Although a level six weapon degrades slow, which is nice for when you're, you know, a horde knight or whatever. All right, let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So the mailbox is up here. Ah, bar brawling. There we go. We'll take that. All right, up we go. Oh, baby. Oh! Go! Ah! <laughs> you jerk. I don't I thought she was outside. That's why I didn't care. Kaboom. I think it was two or three lockpicks. Improved shotgun crafting skill. Oh, oh, I thought that was a, you know, one of those. 
Oh, 20% chance to cripple. That's uh, now bipedal, meaning two legged. Oh, time to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, you're still alive. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, let's back up a minute here. <laughs> I think I got lucky on that. Well, I do have heavy armor on. So remember that when I had the rogue on, I was getting my butt kicked. And I, really, I just forgot I had it on, but, you know. Oh, here. Oh, it's in the shower. Oh, okay. I'm like, where the heck is this? Shutting. Bob will be happy. Holy crap. Whoa! Get out of here. There is a wandering horde that just ran by, and one of these zombies was from that. Oh, no, it came from here. So there was just a, a wandering horde that ran by. I've, I've det That's the second time that I've experienced that. And it is really scary at night. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I was at the the last episode when I was at the military base. I let them run by because there were so damn many. <laughs> Hi. And uh, I let them go by, but some of them hung back. So what I did was I took the ones that hung back. I just kind of popped them off while I was waiting, uh, you know. So, oh, wow. Yeah, that was that was pretty scary. But uh, the Wandering Hordes are a really good source of uh, experience. So you definitely don't want to snooze on them. Hi. Well, he detected me pretty quick. Oh, 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 officer, officer. It wasn't me. That was not my beer in the car. It's my friends. Wah! Kitty Pete, get the hell out of here. All right, down we go. There it is. The end of dungeon loot at long last. First aid kit. Cool. Now I can start making those. I got so many. It's insane. Hey, we got some steel. Oh, there it is. There it is. So we're going to get a chemistry station and a 4x4. But I think I'll hold off on the 4x4 because I don't want to do too much in one episode here. Haha, <laughs> you know what I mean? First try, baby. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I'm at 85 books by or magazines. Yeah, the uh helicopter or the gyrocopter which is the series Ender. Uh that is a lot of steel. But uh it's do, you know, it's it's still a ways off. Is uh we got to we got to get all the get we got to still get the books, you know. All right, Skyrim door, baby. All righty, folks. Ah, Bob is open. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he didn't make the little... Er, yeah, they usually, like, they're never on time. I, don't, I, I guess this is, like, immersion here. There he is. Trader Bob's is 
now open. About We've time you bum. On all kinds of items today. No, you don't. And notice how the open sign went on as soon as the, it was ready. That was pretty cool. Nice touch. You son of a gun. You've been busier than a cat on a hot tin roof. Well, we can make steel all day now, so I'm taking pipe bombs. Special jobs! There we go. So it seems like I had to clear all the level threes out, and now they offer the frickin' special job. So that's good to know. All right, I collected some crap, and oh, I, w I found the city there. I went through it and found books. Holy crap, look at this. Sewing kit, 150. I'm buying them. I got plenty of dukes, and I need it for the armor coming up. All right, here's tier four opening trade route, 7.4 kilometers from here. I should have some work if you're interested. So we got to go east, and it's Trader Hugh. There we go. Now, this one I have been waiting for. I've driven by this. And I was playing uh, Alpha 21 before it went 1.0, and I went in here, and it's a crazy, it's a, it's a nasty one. So finally, I'm gonna be able to do it proper, and we'll capture that together. All right, folks. But before Trader Hugh, we'll probably take care of that in our 4x4 next episode. Um, let's head home and make a chemistry station. Alrighty, folks. Finally made it home. That motorcycle is so fast. No big deal to get home. And there it is. So we got we. Oh, we. I. I didn't realize we needed three cooking pots. I don't have these memorized recipes memorized. So I. I've been scrapping them. And if I. I mean, if I remember, I will save three in. You know. This thing, because I, I was putting all, all the chemistry station goes here, stuff goes here. So if I want to make another chemistry station, I can. I can do three. Oh, and acid is used to be really difficult to find, and they made it better now. And sh so short iron pipe and then forged iron. So you don't need steel for this. You just need the books. 13 minutes. Oh, my God. All right, well, that goes. So that's going to go here. Now, I think it's a three-slot uh, three tiles from what I've seen in the world. I can't remember what it was because I built one in Alpha 22 and I can't remember, but I, from what I've seen of the models in the world, it looks like it's three, uh, you know, blocks. All right, so I, I was looking at mailboxes and I bought books from Bob before I left. So we got uh, electrical here, forged ahead, which we don't need anymore, but, you know, it's we're going to read them. Shotgun Messiah Volume 3. Targets within 3 meters have a high dismember chance. Love it. Sledgehammer. Oh, baby. Let's make a lot. Ooh, if we make a level 5 right now. Oh, dear. Uh, rifle Crafting. Hunting Rifle Quality 2. I already have a 4. Oh, now we got three that's weird because i read one book then another book back to back i don't know why it's giving me those two levels right there fires almanac now this one you would think is bad because it says deal well it's deal more damage to blocks but 25 percent less damage to enemies the fire axe is used for wood harvesting opening the crates getting through walls so i'm not going to use the fire axe as a, as a weapon in fact you you shouldn't really you got sledgehammers, you got all kinds of other things to use. So we'll read those. And then a wiring 101, there we go. All right, it is time for a quality five sledge. Kaboom. And this will allow me to put that mod right here in it. And, oh, I added a case here. And this is all the mods for weapons and armor. Eventually, I'll try and get this straightened out. We'll see. And then, in this case here, it's weapon crafting. And, you know, I got my legendary parts here. So when... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, we'll put that back in there. So when I am able... To, I want to make the raider armor with legendary. Although, I'm leaning to the nerd one for 
the experience gains and all that. So it's a toss up. If oh man, I wish I could have taken that. The legendaries from Wrecked motion sensor. All right, I finally leveled up. I was in the city and I was collecting books while I was waiting for the trader to open, and I got two points. Now, I smart. All righty, folks. There it is. Two sensors and a sledge. Two shotgun turrets, 16 minutes, taking that from there, pull these up, and yes, it is three tiles. Oh my gosh. The first thing that I'm going to do is make freaking gasoline. Now, it needs wood. Okay, let's do that. And this is another challenge that we need to do. Hop that in there. And, oh, we can make oil, too, from oil shale. Oh, I never really had to do it because there's so much. You wrench cars all day. And then if you want to paint, there you go. Chrysanthemums and water. It's, oh, God. Now, if you had, like, 20 freaking, um, what are those things called? I mean, even murky water, you got even if you cook it. Jeez, you want to talk about the, re it's resource intensive now. Whole farming, do a, a do collector farm, a whole farm. Then you could go paint. But you get a thousand paint for each one of these. But it's kind of fun. Now glue, this is interesting. Two ears of super corn and water give you, I think it's one glue. Because I don't see any numbers there. And then there's a bone one here. It's four bone to one water. But let's get this started up. Now, 1578. Look at that. It's actually 3,120. Six minutes. There's your gasoline. Now, let's take a look here. Ooh, yummy. And let's take a look at glue. So here is the chemistry station right here. These two. And that one. It's four bones, one water. Six bones, one water. Now, the ear of corn, or super corn, is growable, right? It's renewable. You get the seeds back, especially if you perk into the farming. All right, I think I need to grab the gasoline. And we have a new... Oh, we completed all these. And what is this, 5,000? Okay. And 5,000? And we're done. So let's go talk to uh, this bum wrecked over here. I almost forgot. I got to do this. So we'll pull these mods out from here. Level 5. Now, it should have... Let's see how many slots it has. Oh, it has one extra slot. You know, I, I wonder if the legendary has extra slots. We'll have to look at that. Now, I don't know uh, offhand. Oh, I can't use this thing? 20% chance to cripple a leg. On Why can't I use this? You know, I wish it would tell you here what you can use it in. Unless... Yeah, let's see. So I wonder if it's, you know, like, well, it's got to be uh, the, you know, club, club material or a weapon. Well, that makes me sad. Hey, wreck, you fool. I'm here for my reward. So homesteading is 1,000 freaking experience. Are you kidding me? Well, I'll take the sledgehammer ones, I guess. All right, I bought some rifle uh, magazines from him here. There we go. Hunting rifle quality four, which I have. So we're good there. Oh, oh, quality five. There we go. So that means I could put more mods on this. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many more mods there are. Uh, they change these things all the time. And, you know, I don't play this game every day. So we'll have to uh, see what that's about. Oh, my bike went over here. <laughs> hey, come here. All right. So I'm going to... Oh, those shotgun turrets might be ready. Maybe we could hook those up. Ooh -hoo. Oh, my gosh. Stuff takes forever in this game sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how they expect you to survive a single player when they make things like 10 hours long. Okay. Look at that. That's where Trader Hugh is. That's the snow biome, I believe. We'll hoof it over there. And here is the horde base. Now, I'm thinking that I was riding by this, and uh, I'm, 
Uh, oh, I did repair, by the way, this thing. Yeah, I have to get the hammer and make sure I've got it. I don't know if I have 100%. Okay, so I, I'm a little concerned about this right here. I don't think the zombies can get up this high. I think it's one block at a time. So they can jump a meter. So this is one, two, three, or two meters. I want to say two. So I think I'm okay. You know, and even if they beat on this block, they should be fine. All right, let's go down here. Oh boy, I got some surprises. I go a little crazy. Level six raider outfit. And you didn't notice this, did you? No, you didn't. Pump freaking shotgun. But it's a level one. And I'm like, oh, I thought I had a better level. You know, to craft. So, you know, even though I'm specced into the damn uh, strength here and boomstick, I'm still not getting a lot of shotgun, you know. And I think that you got to go to these, you know, shotgun messiahs. Yeah, it's really difficult to find these shotgun magazines I'm finding. Even the traders aren't selling them. Ah, it's driving me nuts. Well, anyway, let's put this here. And then, uh, oh, well, I can go here, but, eh, uh, maybe I'll go here. Yeah, let's do that. So, the land claim block is broken. So, I'm just gonna smash it. Now, this thing, um, okay, it's showing that way, but let's go straight times two. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and press E to interact. You'll notice that there is a camera view. Well, we need power in order to see what it sees. So, in the meantime, though, you can see that you have, uh, what is it, 450 shotgun ammo that you can throw in here. Not bad. And then you got to make sure you lock it. So, you click on this little guy to put ammo in, and then, well, this box, rectangle, whatever. And then you gotta click it again, or else it will not work. So you gotta make sure. Now you have some things up here, targeting. Target self, that's how you can test it. Target allies, why, I don't know. Target strangers, that's if you're on a multiplayer server. And then target zombies. Now you, well, you don't wanna, yeah, leave that on. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. They give you options. I guess that's good. Oh, look at this. I love it. So, oh, what happened there? Why did do it? Why did do it again? Hey, I want to test my new shotgun on you. Oh, <laughs> how you feeling? And look how fast that loads, man. I love it. I love that. That is the best. I, I love shotguns just for the the loading of the, you know, cartridges or whatever they're called, shells. And then the lock and load. Oh, I love it. But let's mess with this here. Uh, we'll wear it for now because uh, I want to, you know, check it out. So we have the full set Raider bonus there. And let's go into our character view. Oh, yeah, here we go. So in the Raider outfit, modify. We can do we can do this the sneaky stuff here. So this is stamina. And they don't stack. Okay. And then this one here is another stamina. Ah, it doesn't stack. So we got noise reduction. Now I'm gonna look, I don't know if I can make those. I don't think I can. So that's, you know, obviously what you want to do there. So we could do the same thing, improve fittings there. And then this is stamina. Oh, oh, okay. This is stamina. This is better. 0 0.05 versus 0 0.02. Let's pull that out. So muffled. I think they have advanced muffled and all that. So we'll have to check on that too. Oh, and as a reference here, we only have two slots for a level four, so my thinking is it's gonna be three for a level five, four for a level six. So there you go. Oh, and I misread this damn thing, by the way. On the nerd outfit, 
extra skill point chance. So I didn't think to read this and it's for reading a freaking magazine. I am like, are you kidding me? Here I'm thinking it's for when you level up. And I go, well, you're not, you know, we level up like 50, 50, 60 times. I mean, if you're doing a long play, you're going to level up more, obviously. But this is really good. So I don't need to wear this armor on Horde Night. What I need to do is wear this when you're reading magazines. So that makes a lot of sense. So now the one, I'm probably going to mix match on Horde Night. And I'll wear this one here. XP gain. So I'll make a level six of the nerd helmet and then anything that helps with with uh, attack. So the hands here is melee damage 60%. So definitely want to wear that on Horde Knight. And uh, they're probably better than the biker gloves is what I'm thinking. Now the helmet, I don't really need the stun resist on Horde Knight because I'm behind the wall. You know, I'm basically smacking zombies. Maybe they'll hit me a little bit, but if I get stunned, I can recover very easily because I'm protected by all this concrete. So most likely what I would do is pick a helmet. Well, I would use the nerd helmet for experience, the raider gloves for the weapon damage, and then I'll find some kind of boots that, that have some kind of benefit for Horde Knight. If I don't, well, I'll just wear the raider ones. Now this natural crit healing, I don't really need that for Horde Knight because I, like I said, I'm going to be pretty much protected. So um, something better on the body would do. So I'll go through and try and figure something out. All right, I'm going to go get my wiring tool because I'm an idiot and I keep forgetting it. hoo -ya! There we go, folks. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this wired up here. So I got my wiring tool right here. Zippity zappity zoop. There we go. And now we bring this up to here. And you can go to here. Boom. Now, I don't think I need... There we go. Oh, I think I do need this thing on. So let's go check that out. Uh, we'll turn it... Oh, eh, it fell. That's fine. Turn it on. Everything is on. You know, a uh, switch would be helpful. So next time, I'm going to switch these. So that, you know, I... Uh, maybe a different connector and to a switch. I don't know. We'll see. So, oh, look at this. So here's the camera view. Hi. <laughs> and we can point up there and escape. So here it is. So that, that shotgun is shooting up that way. So I might want to drop it down some. Uh, maybe right about here yeah about there is good okay and then we go to this one click on camera view and there's the other shotgun right there and maybe about there so all you do is escape out and i like this this is really cool they've had this for a while now i'll toss my shotgun ammo in there for now that way at least it's there i'll lock it you know just in case i forget there we go. So I'll grab more shotgun ammo for myself. Now let's go down here. Turn this off. Oh, I just saw this little guy going. 885. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So we're set for that now. The other thing that I'm going to do, which I wasn't expecting to have steel today. The other thing that I can do with these blade traps is you can... Take one and do advanced rotation on these. And I can place them up here. <laughs> so basically as high as, well, as low as possible. And you can have them chopping up the zombies here or their heads. Now, there is something to be said about putting it up high enough to where it hits the zombies in the head. Because down here, they get, they're they going to chop the zombie's legs. Oh. Why? You know what? Okay, this is confusing me. Uh, I guess this is fixed. 
or I guess I repaired it. I thought I didn't. What was that? I just saw. There it is, right there. Okay, I need concrete. Okay. So now you'll notice that I'm, well, maybe you didn't notice. I have steel. <laughs> now, I only have 50. I don't want to go crazy right now. So before Horde Night, I'll be mining a ton, a crap ton, a crap ton of iron and clay. And so the the zombies usually hit middle. Yes, they can hit here. They might be able to jump up on each other and get, you know, the third block here. I don't know if they get the fourth, but chances are as a normal zombie coming trying to get you through a structure, they're going to hit here. You'll notice it on how on the houses. And then I think, I don't know, they might be, I'll have to watch them get into a house because that's the best way to, you know, observe their behaviors under just gameplay. You know, I mean, you can do testing and stuff too, but um, yeah. So I think that if I protected this band, uh, I mean, all the way around, you know, so start with the middle here, one or one block up. So it's the second meter protect this with iron or steel. So this is 10,000 hit points. Uh, I don't want to hit it because then I'm going to waste a piece to seal. Well, actually, no, let me do this. Uh, yep. 10,000. So now what I got to do is I got to freaking you know, repair it with a, uh, piece of steel. That's not a problem. Okay. Well, good progress, man. Unlocking steel is huge. Now I can finally make the four by four and the four by four is what you want to use for looting. You know, if you're just kind of driving around, you know, doing a couple things, you can use the motorcycle, the bike, like I'm using the bike to go back and forth to the horde base here. The mini bike, eh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a use for it. Um, if I put a gasoline saver mod on there, which I can do now uh, in a light. So I got three mod slots here. It's limited, so a fuel saver for sure, and then the higher capacity gas tank and a light, which would be fine. You're not going to bother putting a turbo on this thing, you know. But on this baby right here, we've got three slots, so I can make that extended tank. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can make... I don't, can I make the tank? I don't know if I've unlocked it yet, so I'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah, the fuel reserve fuel tank is not available. I have to get the schematic for it. Here's the supercharger right here. So I need the schematic. You can't perk into that. That makes it kind of kind of screwy. But you, uh, one thing, too, is to keep an eye out on the traders. Always go to the books mod. And at this point, now that I've got all but one vehicle now, I definitely want to get these two here for running around in. Is it important? Well, not really, because when I fly out of here, the series is over. And I'll be starting a new series, though, probably almost right after this one ends. I want to just kind of get my feet wet, get my get put my flag in the in the ground at, hey, I do seven days to die over here on this channel, you know. So anyway, oh, and there's the yeah, armor. There's an armor mod here for this right here, vehicle armor mod. I think it's one fits all, but... Like you could put on the mini bike, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the bike too. I'd be willing to try that out. Off screen, what I'll do is I'll collect the materials for the chassis. Here it is. Forged steel, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, and electrical parts. Then we have the accessories. And here they are here. Mechanical spring, uh, short iron pipe, headlight, eight, and electrical parts. And there's the truck itself. Four wheels, then you got the chassis, the accessories, one engine, and a car battery, which I don't think I have an engine. So I'll have to go wrench some cars. I'll use a level five battery, no big deal. I, I just sell the level ones. So I'll get all the materials for the four by four, and then we'll head out wherever that trader is. Is he he's supposed to be east? Where the heck is he? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's east right there. I, I'm disoriented. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll head to uh, Trader Hugh. He's kind of a cool guy, a little quirky. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and lots of progress. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.